today to Blackfoot Cemetery in Pike County, Indiana, right outside of Oakland City. Uh, from what I've read about it, it's pretty active at night, kind of takes on a life of its own. Um, a lot of orbs, a lot of shadows. Um, it's believed that the Blackfoot tribe was in this area before settlers came through and informed the first death of the settlers to bury someone on top of the hill. And it was the very first body to be buried at Blackfoot Cemetery. And it expanded afterwards. So hopefully we can get some footage tonight. Come out here and give it a shot. See what happens. Okay, everyone, we made it. Blackfoot Cemetery. We were walking through, kind of checking the place out before nightfall. Groundskeeper came through and asked us if we were looking for anyone in particular. And of course I told him no. And then he proceeded on with a story about some people out here looking for a witch apparently, trying to conjure up a witch. He showed us an area in the back where they had um, spray painted on trees, I guess some kind of symbols. So we're just kind of hanging out right now and um, making sure he doesn't come back through to think we're part of that crew because we're not. Definitely not. We're just out here trying to communicate and catch activity. If the night goes well, maybe we will, maybe we won't, but we're here to find out most definitely. So we will get back with you when we start to investigate. We'll be back when it gets a little bit darker. There is a light. Can, it, you, can you say light? Um, is there anybody that would like to communicate with us? We're not here to harm you, just to communicate. My name's Amy. What's yours? Can you tell us anything about the Indians that used to be in this area? A witch. Is there a witch here? We've heard stories of witches. Is that true or is it just a story? Okay. It's true. So, is there people still coming here trying to conjure up the witches? We heard they spray painted symbols on the trees up here. Would you like us to go near the tree? No. No? Where would you like us to go? Where can we go so you can communicate better? Straight. Leave. We don't mean you any disrespect and we're not here to tear anything up. We're not here to do anything to harm you or to harm anything here. We just want to speak and see if you have anything to say. Go. What about this small stone here? It looks like it had been repaired. Can you tell me your name? We're, we're going to go get towards the tree where the groundskeeper said people have been painting symbols on trying to conjure up a witch. And we did hear you say witch. Can you say it again? Truth. Is it true? It is true. What is, the, what is the witch's name? Yes. 
Is this where they came and tried to do their rituals or whatever it is they do? We're going to walk all the way around this graveyard. Oh, excuse me, cemetery. There used to be a church here, not a church here. Yeah, it used to be a church. And you tell us whatever it is you feel like telling us. The, the floor is yours. We're leaving this open. We heard stories of orbs and shadows. Can you show us some light? Or even show a shadow? Not now. When can you do it? What is the name of the person who's speaking? I heard Billy. Hello. Like I said, my name's Amy. And I'm just here to communicate with you. Me and my husband, his name is Shannon. We go around and just see who would like to communicate. Can you tell us about the Native Americans who used to live here? Were any of you alive back then when they were here? What about this cool covered grave? Is there anything you could tell us about it? No. No, okay. What is the, what is the name on the grave? She's got a camera. It said she's got a camera. I do have a camera. And you can you can come in front of it and I can take your picture if you would like. There's a female that keeps coming through. Could you talk to us some more? Would you like to have your picture made? I'd love to take it for you. If you could somehow show yourself to us, then we could get you on on One thing I really look forward to seeing are some orbs. Maybe you can show us in a ball of light. I'll do a real good scan of the cemetery and maybe you can show us. Hello. Hello. I heard don't look at me. You don't have to be on camera if you don't want to. We're not here to try to make you be on camera or speak to us. You don't have to do anything that you don't feel comfortable with. Like I said, we're not here to hurt you. 
We just want to communicate. And if you feel comfortable, speak with us. Were you alive in the 1800s? Do you remember what month you died? In May? Okay, well that's a great start. Do you remember your name? Feel free to touch it. It won't hurt you, I promise. Hello, I have this device in my hand. If you can, please touch it to make it change color. Is there anywhere you would like us to go to make the colors go up? Try to lay it on a stone. Can you show us some orbs? Over in this direction where the light's at? Or show us maybe a apparition? Can you manifest? Do you want us to stop? I'm still awful curious about the Native Americans. Can you tell me what the name of the tribe was? Can I talk to the female again? This is a beautiful cemetery. It's in a wide open spot, nice view of the stars at night. Very beautiful. My name is Shannon, and this is Amy. Can you say either name so we know we, you heard us? No. No?
I heard go again. Would you like us to go? Please. Okay, I'm getting ready to turn this device off. And once I turn it off, you're no longer allowed to speak with us. So if you can think of anything, you want me to know. Now is the time. Can you say goodbye? All right, well, what do you think about it? Well, it does take a different vibe at night. When I was here walking the same path I just walked during the day, it didn't feel quite the same. Right. So I could see where there's potential for abnormal energies floating around this place because it is very unique. And it's well taken care of. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can tell that they really care about this place. And which is very rare. Most older cemeteries was from the 17 and 1800s are pretty much destroyed or grown over. The grass has grown over them. Not too many people take care of it. Well, luckily after the Native Americans let them use the spot for the lady to be buried in, they have continued to bury and be respectful and take care of the land, yeah. which is great to see. But yeah, that was a look at this Blackfoot Cemetery. We wanted to come out and check it out. This one wasn't very far. Um, I guess just not, we didn't have a lot going on. I mean, we had a lot of cool responses that lined up with what we were asking, but well, I don't... Until we go through and listen to the audio and then true. watch the video, we might may have something. Well, I'm just kind of talking on vibes right now. Right, right. I agree with that. I could feel that there was some get out of here vibes totally but that was it and like i said like you said we'll go home we'll check out what we caught and put it together and go ahead and hit that subscribe button you don't want to miss where we're going to end up next because the possibilities are endless we've just started so just hit that subscribe button share the video if you liked it and just stay tuned for more investigations <laughs>